So in, in 2009, we were newly married and we were looking for a church. Uh, we were looking for a community and we kind of fell into access um, at the YMCA and we attended for a few weeks. And after about the third week, um, we showed up one Sunday and there was no one at the door greeting us, no coffee, no donuts. Um, there was no sound system. Um, we had to grab our own chairs uh, to sit down. And I remember Jason's message uh, was centered around serving and how that church doesn't go on without people serving in the church. And from that Sunday on, we we bought in. Mm -hmm. We've served in nearly every area of access. We've been greeters at the front doors. Yeah, media. Parking lot. Yeah, um, set up and tear down. Access kids. Access kids, we've yeah. We've <laughs> passed out bulletins. Yeah, um, and we've also been in access groups. Uh, that's one of the best things we've done at Access was join an access group. So we had been coming to Access for quite a while and we didn't quite feel connected. Um, and so we were invited to join an access group and we did. And, and it changed everything yeah. for us. And ever since then, we've been involved, either been involved in an access group or led an access group. More and more access became less of a place that was just church and more of a place that was family for us. I think um, after college for us, like it was important to have a group of people because we felt like a lot of our friends were transient yeah. and leaving all the time. And so we found a group of people who were staying and they were in the same place in life that we were. That became the place where we were walking alongside of people and living life with people, walking through the lowest of low moments yeah. in our life and um, the highest of highs. We yeah. saw our friends through the births of children and the loss of family members. Yeah, uh, it's great having community. I mean, as a young married couple, we needed that and we were able to find that in groups. In 2019, Pastor Ryan approached me and kind of told me that I was going to Africa with him on a mission trip. So I had had some excuses planned out, but I just ended up going. We talked about it and it, it made sense. Um, and I remember going on this trip and being in the bush of Kenya underneath a tree, worshiping with the Maasai. And at that moment, I just knew that there was more for me to do here. Um, at the end of the trip, talking to Michelle on the phone, just telling her all the stories about life change or the different things we saw, I remember um, talking to her and she kind of stopped and said, so we're building a church, right? Um, and I ended up working out in a few weeks, we were able to do so. But uh, that trip uh, not only changed my life, but it put, planted a, a passion inside of me for the mass side. Um, being over there, seeing the, the smiles on their faces, um, you know, being with the kids, um, I really just felt like God had more for me to do there. And so we've been able to do so. And um, it's kind of become a family mission. You know, in, in 2009, we had no idea that this church that we were visiting for the first time in a stinky YMCA um, would grow into more than just this, this church, that it would become more for our lives. You know, we've, we've made community here. We've grown our family here. Um, we had no, if you'd have gone back to 2009, Ryan, and said, hey, this is gonna be you in the future, I, I don't know if I'd believe it. We are the Taylors and we are Access.